working. Let me bring in now Congressman Lloyd Doggett, Democrat from Texas, representing the Austin and San Antonio areas. Uh, Congressman Doggett, good morning to you. Good morning. Good to be with you, Hallie. You, great to have you. I know it's been uh, an unreal week for you, I'm sure. This is now a water crisis in addition to a power crisis. How are people in your district doing? Well, there are tens of thousands of people without uh, water of any kind, and a boil order, boil water order in effect uh, from San Antonio through Austin. I know we had a big apartment fire in San Antonio last night. Water was an issue. Water pressure is an issue here. You know, what, what we have today is bright sunshine, and thanks to some really uh, tremendous utility workers who've been out there in the cold reconnecting us, we've got power for most people, but we lack dependable water. And that's because we have uh, in Greg Abbott, our governor, and his Republican allies, a government that just has not been able to deliver. They could not deliver reliable power. They could not deliver weatherization for our energy sources. And now they can't even deliver water. We've just been trying to get bottled water from Fort Worth, where it is, to Austin. And finally, our local government had to contract its own truck to go up there and get it. We hope we'll have some of that water later in the day. But the inability to deliver to the people is really a failed state government. So what can the solution be? Is it turning to the federal government? We've been showing congressmen on our screens. I don't think you can see it, but that video of the apartment fire in San Antonio that you're referencing, and the issue partly was frozen fire hydrants, right? Firefighters couldn't do the job fully like they needed to do. There were some problems initially. We know that President Biden is pledging the federal government will try to step in and help. Is that going to be enough at this point? Well, it is very important, and I appreciate the role that President Biden has played, uh, because usually, you know, our Texas uh, politicians, like our jet-setting uh, Republican senator, they devote so much time to attacking the federal government. But when we're in a situation like this, we really need federal help. We need federal cooperation. It's obvious the state of Texas and our Republican governor are as inept at doing this as they were in fighting the pandemic last year. Uh, and so that federal assistance will be very valuable. Uh, water is the big issue right now. Uh, we will, as we thaw out, and we're not quite there yet, there'll be more and more broken pipes. Uh, it affects water pressure. Uh, in talking with our local firefighters, there's concern about our ability uh, to fight fires and to provide adequate service. One of the big issues has been in our hospitals because adequate water pressure is essential to having the steam to heat those hospitals. So it's just one problem after another. Uh, and instead of combating those problems, you know, our Republican leaders were off attacking renewable energy. It actually, it turns out the reason we were able to get everybody reconnected, other than the essential workers doing their job, is solar power. It played a big part of this. So instead of attacking the rest of the country and refusing to do anything in following the science on climate change, we need a big shift in our, our leaders, and we need to hold them accountable. When we talk about the, the energy issues here, you've got ERCOT, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, the folks who run the grid, who say that the emergency conditions are ending today, but we are now learning the situation could have been a lot worse. Those officials also say they were, quote, seconds and minutes away from a total collapse of the grid. That could have led to months-long blackouts. At the same time, your former governor, Rick Perry, this morning called this severe winter weather a black swan event, something that might only come around once in 100 years. Do you agree? Was that a black swan event, what happened and what we're seeing in Texas? And what is the responsibility of ERCOT, one of the, obviously, energy leaders in the state, to do something about this? Well, uh, ERCOT, the Electric Reliability Council was clearly not reliable, but it is a mistake to put all of the accountability there. This really goes back to Rick Perry. Uh, they knew a long time ago that this type of event was likely. They knew how to respond to it by requiring weatherization. You were showing people wrapping their pipes. That's something they might have done at the wellhead on these fossil fuels. Uh, they have so basically- you don't believe Rick Perry when he says it's a black swan event, Congressman? I, I seldom believe Rick Perry, but uh, on this particular event, yes, it was a worse weather event than usual. But anyone who lives in Texas knows that our weather changes all the time. And with climate change, it becomes increasingly intensified and severe. 
They have known since the Perry administration what to do to weatherize this. Finally, now that the horses are out of the barn, yesterday, Governor Abbott called for a special uh, emergency consideration of weatherization that should have occurred when Rick Perry was governor. The other item in that uh, call, though, is very significant because he calls on the taxpayers to pay for the weatherization. Uh, it is, again, a typical Texas Republican tactic to shift to the taxpayers something that the industry should have done decades ago. Before I let you go, I have to ask you, you referenced uh, a moment ago a, a jet-setting leader in your state. I have to assume that's a reference to Senator Ted Cruz. As my colleague Gabe Gutierrez reported, he is now back in the state of Texas with some Democrats in your state calling on him to resign. Are you one of them? Uh, there is no chance that Ted Cruz will resign, and he's not the only one. Uh, my local Republican Party chair here in Austin, Travis County, he was trying to recruit people to get a private jet to go to Miami, I think, uh, the, the day after this happened. It's just this jet-setting attitude that there's one special rule for these folks, and everybody else has to make it on their own. That kind of attitude is what has caused so many of our problems here in the state. Uh, we have to turn it around. I'm pleased we have some federal assistance, and we also have some dynamic local leaders, mayors, county judges, like those in San Antonio and Austin, who are really out there working hard. We're pulling together to make up for the failures of our state government, and with a little additional federal assistance, I think we can recover. Congressman Lloyd Doggett, thank you so much for being with thank us. Uh, what I know is a difficult time for you and your constituents. Appreciate it. For yeah. more.